Hello, I'm Matthew Morgan and welcome to our program. Today, I'm here with Grant McKenzie, lead singer of The Mannequins, Juicy Gossip, and Teenage Ghost himself. How are you doing, Grant? I'm doing good today. Yeah, good. having a good morning. So, let's just start off from the beginning. Where'd you get your start in music? Where did I get my start in music? Hmm, well, I think probably the first time I played, um, well, I started taking like piano lessons when I was a kid, took guitar lessons when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But the first time I, I probably like played songs on stage, especially songs I'd written, was um, probably seventh or eighth grade. My mm -hmm. older brother, he's three years older than me, he was in a band in high school, and mm -hmm. they um, knew I wrote songs when I was you know in middle school or whatever. And they weren't great, but they were some of my early you know early songs, and so, and and they wanted somebody who could who could write something. So. Uh, they had me play with them, and I feel like I, I thank them a lot for that because I feel like they were all, you know, so much better than me mm -hmm. as musicians. And so, um, so that was I think the start, um, being able to play with those guys. Uh, and they had a band; they changed their band name like every show. But I think they ended they ended up being Identity Crisis mm -hmm. because they had changed their name so much. every show. Yeah. So that was the that was the, t the name they ended up with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now talking about the bands you've been in, uh, which bands came first? Like, how did you form the ba the bands that you're in now? Yeah, so, um, so my freshman year of high school, um, I was, I, like, one of my goals going into high school, right? I was homeschooled when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and I went to a really small uh, uh, private school for middle school, and my high school was still pretty small and private, but it was like, I was going into high school, I was like, I'm going to be in a band. Mm -hmm. So I, I really wanted to be in a band. Um, <laughs> so I, I remember like just asking anyone you know I could like especially in my class like who plays instruments like what are what are people up to, and I was in this band called what do we call ourselves? It was kind of stupid. It was like modern. It was called Modern Envy, and we played together. And then um, and and one of the other members of that band was Luke Penning, um, and then that band didn't really last. It was just like yeah, um, but but Luke Penning and I. And uh, Maya Lobatos, who was also in that band, were like, let's get together and, and have, a, mm -hmm. have a, another band. And we, um, we, uh, uh, we got twins, Tyler and Justin Voss, and then we started um, Juicy Gossip. So that was mm -hmm. started like my freshman year of high school, like that um, spring. Okay. And then, um, and then the mannequins came my sophomore year, I think, my sophomore or junior year. Somewhere in high school, and that was very spontaneous. That was like me, uh, Carter and Davis, the other members of the band, just like getting together to hang out. Mm -hmm. And then that turned into us jamming. And then within the day, we, we wrote like four songs. We're like, we have to keep playing together. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so those are those two. We're both in high school. Mm -hmm. um, so Juicy Gossip has been around for like six years now. Oh, wow. And uh, the mannequins have been around for, I want to say like three or four. Okay. Years. So yeah. now, I mean, you've been you've played so many live shows with your bands. Where'd you like? You know, how do you get into playing live shows? You know, I think you have to do it a lot, mm -hmm. and you have to fail a lot. <laughs> that sounds bad, <laughs> but and and you have to like search for any opportunity. I still wish I'd I'd played more live um, here, especially because uh, I go to school in Holland, Michigan, and there's mm -hmm. not a lot of like live music. So yeah. here, there's a really good places you can get plugged in. Um, to play and then also just like doing it mm -hmm. and going and playing and taking any opportunity you can mm -hmm. and I guess being okay with like maybe failing or you know trying as hard as you can to put the best show on that you can but also being aware that if things go wrong or if you screw up a chord or if you mess something up that like you'll have another show and yeah. also like you can even like keep playing that show and make it amazing mm -hmm. um, and so I think in terms of like getting into it both mentally and like also just in terms of like going out and asking people if they'll have you play, like those are the two, the two mm -hmm. biggest things that I think helped me. Okay, so now when it comes to Teenage Ghosts, I've seen you play it on your Instagram live a, a bunch. Mm -hmm. So um, I, you know, I was thinking to have you play it here, and I think we we'll go to that performance now. Come back after the break, and you'll see Grant McKenzie perform "Honey" off of his album "Sketches of a Boy."
Why don't you come in from outside and I'll call you honey and we'll live in the country till we run out of money and we break up. Oh honey, I give up. And you'll pull some weeds and I'll read the paper and we'll grow bored and dense. Honey, we'll talk about it later. We'll be every other sentence on our lips. And we'll go to the beach on some holiday picnic And you'll say I'm drowning And I'll say I'm seasick And honey, we won't even have our grievances in common And you'll head north for the city I'll head south for more country We'll thank God there are no children But I'll still call you honey when you call me Cause you can't find anything better to do don't have a clue, do you? What it would take to remove or to move in the first place? Are we some torch against the wind and the rain? Is every man an island? Is every girl some sailor's daughter? Is every boat that's out to sea held up by just one drop of water? Honey, we could be. the drums and you'll play the guitar and we'll make music for all the shooting stars to fall apart to songs to fall apart to and I'll write melodies and symphonies and make songs from empty tragedies and I'll fill it all with metaphors and read poets from last century and I'll forget what it means to be me and to know you against the wind and the rain is every man an island is every girl some sailor's daughter is every boat that's out to sea held up by just one drop of water honey we could be Thank you. That was a great performance. So, you know, talking about Honey, uh, what would you say the song is mainly about? Because I remember you've said a couple times while live that you would just write songs to, you know, imitate certain artists that you liked at the time, or, you know, you would write it as if you were writing as somebody else. What would you say the inspiration for that song was? Hmm. So that song's interesting because I don't think it falls as as directly along a path of like other musicians. I definitely think there are some songs that album to me that feel a little bit like, oh, this is you know like a microphones rip off, or this is mm. a um, who else do I feel like level up rip off? Like th these are certain bands, um, but uh, the with that song I feel like there's a Mountain Goats influence mm -hmm. with the way I lyrically write there because it's more of a story and I don't write a lot of story songs. Mm -hmm. And then I also think that. Um, uh, the uh, literature of Raymond Carver. I was reading a lot of Raymond Carver at the time, and he writes a lot of these pretty uh, sad stories about love, you know, kind of hopeless. Yeah. Um, and, and that was kind of like what I was trying to emulate, like kind of a hopeless, mm -hmm. uh, you know, almost like beyond emotion story about a, a 
you know, like a divorce, um, which I, is nothing I've experienced. So it's mm -hmm. kind of, you know, very like, yeah. you know, like. Uh, disconnected from you? Disconnected from me. It's one of the only like super, I, I guess there's a couple of fictional songs in the album, but it's probably the most, you know, like fictional, like mm -hmm. getting a point across as opposed to um, maybe, uh, you know, like spilling something directly from my yeah. heart, you know? Yeah. Of course. Okay. So now, um, if we're talking about, you know, just upcoming things that you're working on, I know, of course, you have to have a bunch of unreleased stuff. Um, what's next after, you know, releasing Teenage, or what was the most recent work you've released? Yeah. And what's Te coming up? Teenage Ghost, the Sketches of a Void album was the last mm -hmm. thing I've released that that song, um, Honey, was from. Um, but it's it's tough to, after putting out the, well, the Mannequins album, Blast Off for Kicksville, mm -hmm. and the uh, Teenage Ghost album, Sketches of a Void, I'm really proud of both of those albums. Yeah. I feel really fantastic with how they came out and the songwriting and everything. Um, and so it's tough to like mm -hmm. say, okay, I'm gonna pick up a guitar now and I'm gonna write the next album. Like that's hard yeah. to do uh, because you put all these things out of like, this needs to sound like a Teenage Ghost song, this needs to be as good as the last record, mm -hmm. all this all this stuff. So I can't say for sure. I, I have been writing, you know, I have mm -hmm. been writing songs, but I don't necessarily have anything that I'm 100% saying, you know, like this is an album, Yeah. you know? So, okay. so, um, so, but we've got some singles coming out from the mannequins pretty soon mm -hmm. um, that we have recorded and just need to get some final mixes yeah. back and forth. So so that'll be good. So that's on the horizon and just creating more, but, um, mm -hmm. but kind of the exact trajectory or next albums right now are a little bit more, is okay. a little bit more uncertain. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, you did say that you're gonna play an unreleased song called mm -hmm. uh, Dust and Light. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited to see that. After the break, we'll cut to that. your head back, shorn, make up some excuse, stumble on down the block, pick up your shoes, backwards, forwards, inwards, stumble on down the block, think about calling it quits again, between you and me, between reaching out, Reaching in somewhere deep, somewhere you haven't reached. Somewhere you haven't reached. I could call her up, we could talk about nothing, but nothing can be beautiful, but that's worth something. When it's shared, when the words build worlds of dust and light tonight. When the words build worlds of dust and light tonight. The water and wine is nothing. But if I knew every word that Jesus said, that the disciples, they didn't write down. I'd say them to you now. How's your day been? Are you dreaming, darling? How's it for you now? Now that I'm not around. Now that I'm Okay, well that was a great performance. So now talking, so, I mean you did bring up the making of uh, Blast Off for Kicksville and Sketches of a Void. Uh, the production is amazing on those oh. albums. Now, I mean, how? How did you get it produced? I mean, yeah. what goes into the making of albums like that? Yeah, so I really appreciate that, especially on the <laughs> Sketches of a Void because that was all like demos I was making in my dorm room um, and that I 
like uh, I like there are production moments on that album I love, and mm -hmm. there are production moments on that album where I kind of like uh, roll my eyes a little bit at, <laughs> at myself, you know, that I chose to do certain things. Mm -hmm. But but overall, like I'm really proud of that, especially because I kind of had a I didn't want to overwork it, so mm -hmm. I was just like I'm gonna put this out. I don't want to get tired of these songs. But um, the blast off for Kicksville. Uh, production process was nuts because we spent a really long time tracking everything uh, in just we did ourselves all the tracking so we did all the recording ourselves uh -huh. um, in Carter's basement the bassist yeah and um, and that like we spent like three weeks mm -hmm. um, pretty I felt like a pretty long time for the songs like tracking all the instruments making sure it was perfect and then I spent like a month tracking vocals just on my own in my mm -hmm. bedroom and then we actually sent it to Jack Miller who produced the album and he is uh, uh, you know a, a he did it for free, you know, like n really nice guy, but um, and he's a friend, good friend of ours, and he produced uh, that album, uh, and we thank him so much for that. But he did, he really to me is like what made Blast Off for Kicksville sonically the thing it is, mm -hmm. because he really did amazing work with the songs yeah. we'd written uh, production-wise. Um, so, so for that album, I, I give you know my hats off mm -hmm. to Jack Miller who did all the production. So, since uh, you did self-produce the album, I mean, what goes into that? Is it just like a bunch of trial uh, and error, or did you have some sort of background in like studio production or anything like that? Yeah. So, um, I've been recording s the nice. I think I haven't actually had any like technical training or classes in uh, mm -hmm. audio production. I've spent a lot of time. I mean, I've been on. Uh, I'm an, I'm an actor a lot of the time, so I've yeah. been on a few film sets before and experienced audio that way. I've run live sound before, mm -hmm. um, uh, and I've played a lot of music, so I've been on that side of mm -hmm. sound for a long time. Um, and then I've also just been messing around in a computer DAW recording songs since I was in seventh grade. Mm -hmm. And so um, I kind of have my own way of do doing things <laughs> yeah. because of that, but I just like the process of, of making songs. So a lack of technical training, but I guess I would just kind of, you know, like, plug into an interface and make sure things sounded good mm -hmm. and then just roll with it and record. Um, but uh, it's kind of hard, I guess, to, I don't know, just like what was what was sounding good to me, I would just roll with. And awesome. that was kind of how I decided to, especially the with the Teenage Ghost album, that's how I kind of decided to roll with it. Because I knew I'd go crazy if I was like super fixated on the production side of things yeah. and not try to be on the creative mm -hmm. uh, side of things. Yeah. So. Speaking of Teenage Ghost, uh, after this, a song ba off of uh, the album called Haley. That's what's gonna, that's what Grant's gonna be performing next. Why don't we go? Why don't we go? When you're feeling blue or don't know what to do, talk to Haley. She'll have something nice or some advice for you. See you more often lately, Haley. See you more often lately, Haley. When your hours line up, like just today or when she goes away or when you Go away. Flashback to the 7 Eleven after hours in the backseat of her car. Feeling alive, feeling just right. All night, yeah, you feel like you could die. So you go and you stop. Pick up traffic cones, there's one on every block. If you scan and we could pick her up at 7 p.m. Drive down to Homer or Glen or Tacos with our friends and we could do it again. We could do it again, yeah, we could do it again, yeah, we could do it again, yeah, we could do it again, we could do it again, yeah, we could do it again. When you're feeling blue or don't know what to do, talk to Haley. She'll have something nice, some advice for you. See you more often. Another great performance. So now I have a question. Who is Haley? Haley. Oh, Haley Mirabile. 
Um, she is a coworker that of mine for a long time. Not mm -hmm. anymore, but we worked at the Oberweiss in Western Springs oh. for like four years mm -hmm. together. Shout out to Haley, but we were really good friends. Uh, still are really good friends. Um, and I don't know, I'd call her a lot like when I was at college, like for for advice. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then that summer after my first, or maybe the winter after my yeah that long winter break last year, mm -hmm. I think, yeah after my. Uh, or no, it was the summer. It would have been the summer, sorry. The summer, she asked me one day at work, like, oh, you should write a song about me. And that almost never works, right? Somebody yeah. says, write a song about me, or write a song about this, and you go and you try, and nothing comes out. You know, you have, you have to, like, feel it. But I wrote a pretty good song, and it's one of my, you know, like, like I normally, you know, like, yeah. normally that doesn't happen. You hear somebody's name, and you're okay with the song that comes out, you know, mm -hmm. but, but I was like, oh, I'll write a song about Haley, and I felt pretty good about the song I wrote about Haley, so I decided to put it on the, the great album. Song. Great <laughs> Thank song. You. Thank you so, very much. Now, when it comes to writing songs, do you base it more off of just like how you're feeling or do you like telling stories? Like what's your general form of writing, I guess you could say? Yeah, it's a hard thing. It's, it's hard to describe, I think, well, especially on the Teenage, I mean, and the Mannequins album, a lot of it comes from like poetic improvisation. Mm -hmm. So just like letting myself go and just saying things and like maybe 75% of it gets thrown away. Wow. But if you keep 25% that you really like, um, that's really good. And then the more you do that too, a larger and larger percent of like your poetic output, like a larger mm -hmm. percent of what's just coming out of you, coming out of your heart naturally, is going to be something you're going to want to keep. Uh, mm -hmm. So there are songs on, like, uh, what's, um, we're not playing it today, but uh, Flowers in Concrete. Yeah. Uh, basically everything except for the chorus of that song was improvised in like one take. And that's, wow. that's, not, that's not to be like, oh, I improvised all one take, mm -hmm. as much as it is like I was just like saying, things into a microphone and then I ended up liking what, what I had said. done, yeah. you know, and I was just like, okay, this is good, you know, like this is enough. Um, uh, and so, yeah, so there, there's that element of it. So it's hard to describe exactly where it comes mm. from because it feels like just an outpouring and sometimes yeah. that does come in a story. Sometimes you're like, in order to get this thought, in order to get this feeling, in order to get this, this mood described or something that the music inspires in you, like in order to get mm -hmm. this out, I need to tell a story like with Honey or even Haley, I feel like there's a yeah. narrative. But then sometimes it's like, I just need to like spew something and there's some of that on the record too with What Not or with uh, 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 Lifeblood, like these, mm -hmm. these songs that are more yeah. like, of a, a trying to capture a poetic feeling as opposed to a linear narrative. Okay, that's awesome. So now when it comes to longer songs uh, such as Saturn's Rings, what goes into that? Because that song has a ton of lyrics. I mean, you mm. know, what would you say that's about? Yeah, um, that was uh, that was like one of the, that's one of the songs you start writing at like you're about to go to bed and you pick up a guitar and then you just start writing a song and you're like, okay, I guess I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna get much sleep <laughs> yeah. because it's like it's all coming out. Um, and that song, a lot of that song was improvised too. Um, a lot of the verse lyrics were like just. Like I just did many takes of me just mm -hmm. singing along to kind of those that core general feeling mm -hmm. and coming up with things, um, and I mean that song feels like more of an emotional outpouring. It's about a you know um, kind of like a fading relationship, um, uh, and I think a lot of that album has to do with you know a couple of different relationships that I'm kind of like exploring mm -hmm. together from a certain vantage yeah. point of like like I don't know like what does relationship mean? What is like being with somebody mean it, at that point in my life, you mm -hmm. know. So, yeah. um, and that song kind of I feel like is a is a perfect, um, a perfect image of that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, now that we've talked about the song, I mean, it'd be awesome to see you perform it. I sit here and think about death And I listen to the buzzing of the snow and the stars And I wonder to myself If you can hear it all this clearly from where you are Sometimes I sit here alone And I think about the beach and all the sunlight that would radiate off the sand and into my eyes, into my eyes. 
as I've been I've been looking for some resolution to all this you carry with you and I know first pain's been slayed by fickle things and Saturn's rings and hope why don't we give up hope wouldn't that be easier Sometimes when I play my guitar I don't like the way it sounds It's just echoes bouncing around And the notes that sound like music to my ears It just sounds like all the unfinished Frozen tears that I shed Every time I'm off my meds Cause there's something in my head That says keep on going Keep on, keep on going Cause I've been looking for some Resolution to all this You carry with you I know first pain's been slayed by fickle things and Saturn's rings and hope. Why don't we give up hope? Wouldn't that be easier? Cause I've been, I've been looking for some resolution to all this year. You carry with you And I know First pain's been slayed by Fickle things and Saturn's rings and hope Why don't we give up hope? Wouldn't that be easier? Thank you again. I mean, that performance was amazing. I absolutely love Saturn's Rings. So, I mean, now, where can you find this music, you know? Yeah, so Teenage Ghost and the Mannequins are on uh, every streaming platform, pretty much. We're on, mm -hmm. like, even, like, Deezer and Tidal and that kind, yeah. of, <laughs> that kind of thing. So, uh, even on YouTube. So, uh, if you look up Mannequins, Blast Off for Kicksville, or Sketches of a Void by Teenage Ghost, uh, you can find either of those uh, bands. And if you want to... Check out the back catalog. You can look mm -hmm. up uh, the Juicy Gossip. We have an EP called Aimed at the Clouds from uh, I think like four or five oh, years wow. ago. But uh, but you mm -hmm. can you can listen to that if uh, if you so wish. And and yeah, I, I, awesome. I love the the support. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, appreciate it. I've been looking for the teenage girls.